Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly show you the best, fastest, and easiest way to sharpen your chainsaw chain. Stick around. All right, so before we get started with the actual chainsaw sharpening process, we need to understand the basic components of the chainsaw chain. So on the bottom side of the chain is your drive links. This is what is going to keep your chain inside your guide bar and keep it going round and round without flying off. Next is your right cutting tooth, your left cutting tooth, and then you have your depth gauges or your raker teeth. And the point of those is to set how deeply your chain will actually cut into the wood. If you have it set too deep, your chainsaw will bog down because it's trying to bite too much wood at one time. If you have it set too high, it doesn't matter how sharp your teeth are, they're not biting into the wood at all and you're gonna be spitting out sawdust. All right, so now that we understand the basic components of the chainsaw chain and where we need to file, let's talk about how it used to be done and then I'll give you more of an appreciation for this machine here. So you used to take a file like this and if you can see, on the teeth there, there's actually a file line that shows you the angle to file at. You'd have to take this and hand file and try to follow that line right there. And you'd have to do each tooth, I think the average recommendation was three to five times, and it would take you forever to go around the entire chain. While some people may argue that you can be more precise with something like this, I just think it takes way too long and it takes years of experience to get good at it. Okay, so this machine here is a benchtop electric chainsaw chain sharpener. This specific one is made by Bluemax. I bought it from Rural King for $20 on sale. I checked recently, they're about $40 right now, but if you go to Harbor Freight, you can get the same thing just branded with Chicago for $30. I'll put a link for both machines in the description below. But anyway, what makes this machine so special is that you can set your angle of cut, which for what we're gonna do is gonna be 30 degrees for your right teeth, 30 degrees for your left teeth, and then you have this spinning angle grinder that you just pop on down and then it sharpens each tooth at precisely the right angle. It takes all the guesswork and the human error out of the equation when it comes to chainsaw sharpening. All right, so how do we set this machine up so that it sharpens each tooth evenly? So there's two adjustments here. The first one is your angle of cut. So right here, we're gonna set it to 30 degrees, tighten this knob on the bottom here, and then we want to adjust this so that each tooth is making contact with this grinding wheel up here. So when we bring this down, we want to check. So right there, it's not making quite good contact. We'll give another half turn. Let's see if it looks good now. Yep, now we're making good contact. All right, let's fire the sharpener on and put a fresh edge on this tooth. All right, so all you do after that is just repeat the process, skipping every other tooth, obviously, so you're only doing the right tooth. You can see just how quickly that goes and every tooth is coming out perfectly sharp at just the right angle and it's making it super fast. Then once you get back to the tooth that you highlighted that you started with, go ahead and loosen this and adjust it to 30 degrees the other way to do all of the right teeth.
right, so now that we've got the right and the left teeth done, the next step, I don't think the sharpener was designed to do this, but it actually works pretty good, and that is to take down the raker teeth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this here real quick, set this to zero, tighten it back up, and then we're gonna bring this down and use this angle grinder to take down those raker teeth just a hair. And like I said before, this depth gauge here, the purpose of that is to make sure that this cutting tooth is biting enough into the wood, but at the same time making sure that it's not biting too much. If it's biting too much, your saw is going to bog down. If it's not biting enough, you're just going to be spitting out pretty much flour instead of nice wood chips. So here's another quick tip, and that is to have multiple chains. I have five or six chains. Anytime I get more than about three that are dull, I wait for a rainy day, bring them all down in the basement, and sharpen them all at one time. And with this machine here, it takes about less than 10 minutes to do each chain. So yeah, when it comes to chainsaw chain filing, this electric chainsaw sharpener is the ticket. It sure beats filing by hand. Now, if you're somebody like Buck and Billy Ray with decades of hand filing experience, yeah, you might be able to get a fresher edge on your chains than this electric sharpener, but this thing here is just about idiot proof. I think anybody could sharpen a chain with this. Like I said, decades of experience to get really good with this. Speaking of chainsaws, don't forget about Splitter Wars 2020. It's going to be going up live April 18th, Saturday at 8 a.m. You're going to want to check it out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.